Hello and welcome to the 31st tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at input group segmented buttons. We'll be using the source code from the previous tutorial in which we did drop down. So if you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have a input group set up in the input group uh, add-on. We can provide a button drop down, which we mentioned we already have, but we can chain this to a segmented drop down, which is basically a button mashed up with a drop down arrow. Let's show you the code. You simply just need to modify your existing drop down. You don't need to add much at all. <coughs> Go to Sublime Text. We scroll down, before I zoom in, it's going to sort out the formatting because it's not really going to practically fit on one line. Okay, I'm ready to zoom in now. Before the actual button itself, we're going to create another button. This is basically going to be that separated button. Uh, so, button. It's going to have a type of button. It's going to have a class. It's going to have multiple classes at least. It's going to have a button class. A button default. This is all built into Bootstrap, so you don't need to worry about this. And you also need to have a drop down dash toggle class. So, three classes. It also needs a data dash actually my bad doesn't need a data toggle and it doesn't even need the drop down toggle that was my bad indeed so in between here we're just going to say drop down and this is actually fine we're just going to get rid of the truth currency because our drop down is going to say drop down as it's a separate button so we can get rid of that and after the carrot what we're going to do is add another spam it's going to be an empty span, it's just going to take a class. This just basically states that it's nothing but a drop down, like arrow carrot. So if we zoom out and open this in our web browser, scroll down, and as you can see, we have a segmented button. We have the drop down button and we have the separate segmented carrot button. If we click that, we get our drop down. We can select the pound sign or the dollar sign, which is from the on order list that we created in the previous tutorial, aka right here. It's really that simple. As an extra task, check out what the button drop down or the segmented button drop down looks like on the right, and also make the button drop down open upwards. The next tutorial will cover nav tabs. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at or the required source code will be in the description as well. See hundreds of more videos like this one completely free. Visit sonarlearning.co.uk. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.